Hello friends, welcome to jQuery tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see the animate function of jQuery. The jQuery animate method allows you to create custom animation. This is the syntax for jQuery animate method. Dollar then selector dot name of the method which is animate and inside parameter you can write params which is CSS property with its value then you can write speed like slow fast or speed in millisecond and then you can write callback function okay so this is the syntax for jQuery animate method in jQuery animate method you can write multiple CSS property like this left then its value opacity then its value height width okay so you can write multiple properties of CSS in animate methods jQuery animate method provides queuing facility by default jQuery comes with the queue facility for animation this means that if you write multiple animate calls after each other jQuery creates an internal queue with this method calls then it runs the animate calls one by one so if you want to perform different animations after each other we can take this advantage of queuing facility of animate method. Let's see the example. Here in this example we have this division tag which has some background color, height, width and position. And we have this button of start animation. Whenever we will click on this button at that time this animate method will run one after another first we are changing the height here our original height is 100 pixel we are increasing it and making it 300 then changing width then decreasing height and then decreasing width let's see the output So let's start the animation. First change the height, then width, then height, then width. Let's take a look this in slow motion. This was very fast. Save the program, refresh the browser and start animation. Increase height, increase the width and decrease height and decrease the width. Okay, so this is the queuing facility which is provided by jQuery. Here we can change these two things simultaneously height and width let's refresh the browser and start animation ok so we can write multiple properties in animate method ok so we can also change opacity here write opacity and then its value save the program refresh the browser start animation so changing height width and opacity 
okay so by using this animate method we can change any CSS property of any element 